For years, technology experts in the big conglomerates have made huge efforts to obtain positive results from the numerous video games out on the market. Finally, research has led to the creation of a super innovative chip, the Eki chip. This chip allows for video game players to translate the skills they require in games to their real lives. Going all the way from increasing spatial coordination to eliminating phobias, the Eki technology has proven to be the most efficient tool on the market. However, counter effects can take place due to the numerous misuses that people can give to their newly adopted skills. Typical Eki chip users will find that they have improved platforming. Stealth. Maneuverability and acrobatics. Who did this? When implanted into a user, the Eki chip is also claimed to help improve the gamer's hand-eye coordination when combined with a relevant video game. We decided to put this to the test and caught up with a local paperboy who not only uses the chip, but happened to be a fan of the paperboy video game itself. Alright, here comes the money shot. You know, it was a bad day to be a paperboy today, especially me. You know, chased by this old guy in the bathrobe, uh, run over by a bunch of cars, nearly, you know, got killed. Uh, you got dogs running after you, you know, people just not paying attention when they're doing their thing out there, and you're just trying to deliver a paper, you know. And, uh, you know, Mr. Jones, he's uh, always been a subscriber for, for years, and, uh, you know, I hit him square in the nuts, and uh, when I threw that paper, he's probably not going to have kids anytime soon. You know, the thing is, if when you're throwing these papers, you gotta make it, you gotta land it right in the mailbox, you know? Otherwise, you lose that subscriber. It's it's ridiculous. And you, you know, you work so hard, and you make one little mistake, you know? And uh, you just lose them. That's it. And, uh, you know, as, as a paper boy, I try to hold myself to a higher standard than that. And uh, I guess just today, I just didn't need it, you know? I just didn't need that standard. So, that's just it. It was, a, it was a rough day today, you know? Uh, it's, it's tough out there on the streets, uh, being a paper boy. And uh, sometimes, I guess people just have an off day, you know, they're off their game. But, you know, me being a professional paper boy and all, I'm just not used to that, you know? I thought when I was younger, I played enough paper boy on the NES to, you know, to know what the hell I was doing. But I guess today, it made me realize, you know, something that you just gotta go back to your roots sometime and practice on the paperboy, NES, and sometimes you just want to kick back and relax, you know, but, uh, you know, it's, it gives you something to think about at night, so, you know, just something I gotta do. Uh, when I was younger, you know, I played a lot of paperboy for the NES, um, I guess it was always a thing of mine to play video games, but that one especially appealed to me, you know, and, uh, Throughout high school, I sort of dabbled in the delivery arts of, you know, throwing papers and things to houses and all the subscribers that lived on our street. And then when I went to college, I decided that uh, computer science wasn't really my thing. It wasn't the degree I really wanted, not really lucrative, you know. So I dropped out and I became a paper boy. And uh, I do it full time now. Show you how a real paper boy delivers his papers. Oh, crap. Lately, though, I've been having a lot of trouble delivering papers. I'm, I'm missing houses. I'm not throwing them accurately. You know, I'm breaking windows when I throw them. They're not landing on the doorstep. And being a paper boy, it's hard to practice in the real world. You can't tell your subscribers, oh, well, let me go back and let me throw the paper again. It really messes up your workflow. So, what I decided to do is I wanted to take a day off and uh, just play some Paperboy where I could practice in a, just a controlled environment where if I mess up, you know, I'm not going to break anything. I'm just going to lose a life in the game. So that's what I decided to do. Just play some Paperboy and uh, I wanted to see where that helps. Jackpot! 
You know, playing Paperboy after so many years of having not played it, it it's brought my skills back up to where they should be. You know, I could, like I said, I could. You can practice without putting anybody in harm's way, and it teaches you a lot of skills like timing and accuracy. You know, if you throw it too early, you might miss the house entirely. If you throw it too late, you might break a window or something. So. I feel it's really brought my skills as a paper boy back to where they should be. And do I feel like this video game has helped me out? Absolutely. The Eki chip has also enabled the creation of new belief systems. One of these belief systems centers around the tenets of Tetris. A member of this society has agreed to provide a demonstration. Some people say Tetrising isn't really, you know, a real thing. It's just a hobby for kids. It's, you know, kids acting out. It's a rebellion. But nah, nah, nah. That's not it. It's, it's a lifestyle. You know, you've got this world, and you know, we're here in the world. We're not, we're not the world. We're here in the world, okay? And we gotta fit in. We gotta, we gotta just go in there and just boom. <clears throat> gotta get in there, you know, so like, you just see a spot, and other people are like, oh, it's empty, well, we solve it. Now, some people say we don't fit in, but nah, 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 dude, we fit in better than anyone else, we fit in, we literally fit in. You wouldn't understand. One thing gamers are well known for are their ability to improve their own mood with vocal outbursts. Slow now. Look at the squirtle. Uh, right on your ass. Oh my god. Dude, okay, I'm done. Broski, broski, broski. Okay, I need some help. Oh my god. With the Eki chip, gamers can use vocal outbursts in any situation. Oh, come on. You cut me off. As guy's going, yeah, go slowly. Come on. Come on. T take all day, why don't you? Okay, okay, okay. She's turning. Doesn't even signal. Research indicates that the quality of life increases by up to 40% for the average citizen. The Eki chip has also helped people overcome phobias. Kyle once had a traumatic experience in the neighborhood pool. Drowning really wasn't my thing. I heard there's some people who are into that, but you know, I, I don't. I don't think most people would like it. I really don't recommend it. I hate your pool. But Kyle couldn't go his whole life being scared of water, so he sought help. Stop! A team of specialists put Kyle on the Eki recovery plan. No, video game therapy? 
gave me my life back. I, I can swim now. I can go out in the rain. I can shower. I can take a bath. Oh my god, you, you just can't call it living if you're not bathing. That's why they call it living. And thanks to the Eki Chip, Kyle actually became the best swimmer in his family. Let's do this. Yeah! All day, Omar. And John is too. However, the Eki Chip has not completely been the shining light it was advertised to be. Amidst all the good things it brings, disasters still occur. <laughs> There is still unchecked usage of some skills that could prove dangerous. And hackers acquire abilities that let them cheat at life. Worst of all, our youth are starting to expect the impossible parts of video games to come true in real life. Most notable of which is the respawn. The Eki chip has brought in a new era. It is an era of extremes. Extreme finesse, extreme healing, and extreme abuse. Where's my paper? What? Why?